Hey guys, and welcome back to Google Guru. Today I'm going to show you a Chrome extension that makes saving files on the internet and in documents and everything like that really easy. And this Chrome extension will also integrate with Google Drive, which is great if you're trying to use that as your default storage mechanism. So instead of saving files to your desktop, you can just go ahead and save them to your drive. So I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store. And search save to drive so if you go down here to the extensions section you'll see this save to Google Drive extension brought to you by the Google Drive team so what this does when I open it up and then I'm going to add this so what this does is allows me to right click on images and links of video and audio files and save them directly to my drive so this is basically the same thing that you would do when you were saving to your desktop, but instead you can just save it directly to your drive. So if you want to clear up some space on your desktop and keep that clean, you can just move everything to your drive. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So I want to go to googleguru.com. You can see right here I have this big header image on my screen so I can right click and then you'll see this option here to save to Google Drive. So I can save the link to Google Drive or I can save the image. So let's save the image first. I'm gonna to wanna to grant access. So after that dialog is done, you can see you have the option to just go ahead and save the file as it is. So gurulogo.png, or I could go ahead and rename it if I want to. So this description is pretty self-explanatory. So I'll just close that open up Google Drive and I can see the image file is right here so like I said it's just an easy way to save those files to your drive and you can give it really specific naming conventions if you want so that's pretty much it like I said this is just you know a really easy way to save media files to your Google Drive if you want to clean up your desktop and start using Google Drive as your default storage mechanism this is a great option for you so if you guys have any questions about this or any of our other videos, please leave us a comment in the section below the videos. Thanks.